Hi everybody, welcome to That Fish Place, That Pet Place. My name is Eileen and today we're going to be talking about water changes and using our siphon to do your water changes. Now we do get a lot of questions here about water changes in general. How often you want to do them, how to do them, when you want to start doing them. Basically, you want to do partial changes frequently. These can be smaller changes, like 10% changes twice a month, or larger changes up to about 20 to 25% once a month. It really all depends on your needs, what's in the tank, what kind of filter you have on the tank, how often you feed. If you need help determining any of that, feel free to let us know. But you want to start doing the changes only after your tank has finished cycling. For most tanks, this can take about four to six weeks, but again, it all depends on what is in your tank. It's important not to start doing the water changes until the cycling is done, because you want to make sure you build up that bacteria population that's going to help you take care of the waste. Now, on to the change itself. Today, for the changes, we're going to be using a gravel vacuum, which is this rigid piece, and we're going to be using a siphon starter bulb to actually start the siphon from the tank into our water change bucket that we're using. The gravel siphon is going to help us clean down in the substrate without sucking up the substrate because the wider diameter of this piece is going to create a less strong of a flow going into the thinner tube. So it's going to let the heavier gravel fall out of the bottom while it still sucks up all the fish waste and leftover food and things like that. So to start, I'm going to take the gravel siphon and just submerge it in the water. It's going to make things a lot easier for you if you make sure that there's no air trapped within the gravel siphon to start with, because there's going to be less that you have to take out later. And we're just going to stick the other end at the bottom of our bucket. To use the siphon starter bulb, you do want to look at the bulb itself. There's going to be arrows or words that say in or out. You want to make sure that the end that says in is closer to the tank because the water is going to be entering in the bulb this direction and it's going to be coming out this side. And once we have this in, we're just going to squeeze it a few times until the water starts flowing out of the tank. Uh, you want to make sure that the bucket is below the water level of the tank since we're going to be using gravity to take the water from the tank in. And you'll see this has started flowing out of the tank. Depending on how much air is in the tube, you may need to pump the bulb a few times just until the water level gets over the rim of the tank and starts falling down. Okay, and when we use the gravel siphon, we're just going to put it down in the gravel and lift up. And this tank is not dirty, but you'll see in your tank, you'll see all the waste coming up from the bottom. The gravel will fall back down and the waste will just go up the tube. When you're siphoning the gravel, you want to make sure that you're also keeping an eye on how much water is coming out of the tank since it can be easy to take too much water out at this point if you're not paying too much attention. And when you're siphoning the gravel, depending on how much waste you're picking up, you may only want to do half of the tank at a time to make sure that you're not taking out too much water and too much bacteria. And then next time you do your water change, whether it's in a week or in a month, then you want to do the other half of the gravel to make sure that gets clean. But once you've taken out as much water as you would like, you can just let some air back in the tube. It'll break the siphon, and the water will stop flowing. At this point, you can just dispose of this water and put your newly prepared water back into the tank. And if you have any other questions about how to do your water changes or any other problems with your tank, feel free to let us know. We're always here to help, and we'd love to answer your questions. Thanks for watching TFP TV. Remember to like and subscribe so you're notified the next time we post new videos. And feel free to let us know if you have any other questions or concerns. We're always here to help you out, and we'll see you next time.